And, and I want to make sure that our American audience understands this. You're saying that would be ex that couldn't have been a mistake. Yeah, that had to be uh, no, done. No, it cannot be. Why could it not be? You say why would it have to be done deliberately? Uh, so for the real motive, I think you have to ask the government, those people who control this genome sequence and all the things. But for us, we can understand it as uh, twelve. January, 12th January, they upload the wrong one, which include some wrong information inside. And based on that, the virologist, the, the scientists cannot trace it back to the Zhou Shan bat virus, which I mean the backbone for the SARS-CoV-2 owned by PLA. But one day later, 13th January, please notice that day is the day that the first overseas cases happen in Thailand. So that means people from overseas can also get a virus sample. They also can isolate it. And also people will see the problem between the wrong genome sequence and the real You're genome You're saying they would be caught in a lie, they, that, that this would be shown. They can be, they know that, because they didn't image their uh, overseas patient come out so quickly. And there even no interval for this as some mutant happened. So once the overseas scientists get the patient, they have the big chance to isolate the virus out. That's why on 14th January, we see the previous wrong genome sequence was replaced from the NIH database. That is the version two, and they clearly mention that the version one was replaced, which is very rare happened in gene bank database. And from that day, if you compare it, you can see uh, among all the known genome sequence in the database and Joe Shen bad coronavirus ZC45 and ZXC21, they are the one most close to the SARS-CoV-2. Is the 14